to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh. Do you, you think you need one? In the film, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret, an 11-year-old struggles with issues like boys and bras. We must! We must! We must increase our bra! Abby Ryder Fortson plays the part of Margaret. Rachel McAdams is her mom, and Kathy Bates is her grandma. This movie covers the many struggles of different generations. Judy Bloom wrote the famous book this film's based on. It was my truth. I wanted to be honest. It was my honesty of what it was like to be in sixth grade. When it came out 50 years ago, she touched on taboo topics like menstruation. It's miserable while you're going through it, but you can look back on it later and hopefully laugh. The film also covers issues moms face. Rachel balanced having small kids at home in real life while filming this movie. I had a newborn at the time and a three-year-old at home. That was hard. Trying to find that work-life balance, navigate your way through intense mom guilt. She put that real-life stress on screen. So it was a really cathartic experience and um, made my job easier that um, I didn't have to reach too far for it. Margaret's parents come from different religions. Kathy plays her Jewish grandmother who struggles with finding her role in the world as she ages, a challenge she's faced in real life too. There are times when you think, girl, I don't know how much longer you can keep this up. And so I am so grateful to feel like I used to when I started out in this business. You would think that teens in the 70s were much different than today, but the film shows that's not necessarily true. I think that the core experience of being an awkward, messy teenager who's just going through it, uh, that really hasn't changed. Director Kelly Freeman Craig says she did research comparing today's girls to a few decades ago. Right before I made the film, I sat down with a bunch of 12-year-old girls to interview them because I was wondering what are the differences and what I found was actually hardly anything has changed. And finally, no matter your age, this film shows you're not alone. I hope it also makes the whole experience of adolescence feel less awkward and embarrassing just because you know this is something we all go through. It's the good stuff. Yeah. The good stuff is great and the terrible stuff is life and death. It's a great story later. Yeah. It's a great story later, yeah, exactly. Judy hopes the film helps you feel more connected to other women. And they'll laugh and they'll cry and I hope that people are pleased and moved by it. A heartfelt story spanning different generations is at the top of the list.